Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to create your own custom browser Android app in Android Studio. So let's begin. We will create a new project, probably an empty activity and custom browser, custom browser app, you can name it anything. So steps are very simple. I click finish and wait for my environment to load up. It's just two lines of code. Once my environment loads, uh, first and foremost, I will run it in an emulator so that emulator can run or load in parallel, which takes a while. Also, in a manifest file, I'll make sure that the permission for access to internet is granted to this app because that will be the key and user. Use permission and the permission of internet. Internet should be given. Yeah, I am not sure why that code came. Perfect. So this is just needs to be defined in manifest file by default. Uh, Android will uh, provide it. We don't need to ask the user explicitly for access to internet. So that step is no more required. In the layout, let's make a nice layout here. So the default text view most likely will not need because. Uh, we will need something called web view so we will just remove this we will need something called uh, yeah we will need a button to browse or to start the browsing to trigger the browsing we will need a plain text where we can enter the url so we will need these two so i just i am trying to make it like a real browser so i will make it like on the top like this and then this button could be i will first name this button so button i will name it as go so this small we can put an image button also if you want to put some kind of sign like arrow and all but i think i'll make it like a simple text button and then i'll put something called web view and that web views will occupy most of the space perfect like this looks good so yeah now one by one i'll give constraints to all my this uh, widgets id also i can clean up this id a little bit refactor okay constraints is given name i don't think i'll need need any kind of name here instead i'll give some hints if i scroll below and in the below somewhere in the in this hint i'll say enter url that this will come as a great text and now in the button, I think we just need to give constraints. We have already given the text, so no, nothing more required. And in the web view also, I think just uh, constraints will be required. That's all. I think we can also give something called uh, ID. So ID will give web view itself. And now in the Java code, first and foremost, I'll create a public method, which I will use to associate with the button go underscore blog so yeah you can name this method anything again uh, yeah but i will associate this uh, method in my layout to this go button on click attribute so over here if i scroll down perfect and if i go back to my java code over here i'll create a couple of my class variable one will be of course edit text and the other one will be the web view private Web view, yeah, and in the on create on create method, I will associate this web view with the find no, 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 this shouldn't be find view by id r dot id dot web view, and the other one edit text also I'll associate to, to the edit text which we have created in our layout. Perfect. So once we have it, then first and foremost thing which I'll require to set is in my web view, I have to set it as a client the uh, web client so set web view client new and web view client perfect and then in my button go browse button uh, or this add a method what we can do is we can create a string variable string which will fetch the url so string url from our edit text edit text get 
text to a string and we will use this variable to load our URL. So the we will use webview.loadurl and the string what we just now defined above. That's all. It's as simple as this. I will read on the code in my uh, emulator and see how it comes up. So that's what is very simple code. The only thing we have to make sure is we call this load URL on the web view and we set it as a web client. So first and foremost, what we can do is we can start with something called google.com and see what happens. So web page not available. Okay, so I, I think I understood because we have to give HTTPS and www. So what we can also do is in our code itself, we can modify this uh, by HTTPS www dot and this will plus the URL what we are getting string URL what we are getting from our user from the entry okay so if I read on the code and uh, let's see how it comes up so I think this part is good to add in most of the URL by default so let me see google.com if we are able to load no or not perfect so it came up and I can go to some other say for images or whatever all again I'll, I'll load something different I will load probably okay I'll do one thing I'll search in this BBC and when I search I get some BBC home page so if I click here so I can browse the BBC that news uh, portal we can also do one thing we can directly browse it from here bbc.com and of course the same page will load so we may not be able to figure out so what I'll do is I'll load some other page say for example yahoo.com and browse it here so yahoo has come I'll browse again bbc.com and yeah perfect so I can see the bbc.com is loaded and so there are lots of things so I think if I click in this link I can read the news here I can print side it says whatever so yeah, uh, this is so simple. I will load uh, probably you know, my channel programmer world dot go and click on go and okay. I was hoping that my okay my portal loaded up. So this is my channel. Perfect. So that's all. I just wanted to show you how simple and easy it is uh, to make uh, your own browser. You have to just create a web view and then set it as a web view client and then use the load URL at a method to load whatever your URL the user is typing. The rest of the stuffs in the browser what you have seen like history and bookmark and all those things you can take care separately uh, but this is the simplest form where how you can implement your own browser. So that's all I hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.